Hmm. Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol CCIV. Um, this is Church Heat Capital that is in the process of taking Lucid Model public. So um, this is a stock that I've covered here on the channel a lot. But again, recently there's been some crazy news and I want to make sure that you guys are aware of it. So that way you're not just jumping in and buying without understanding what's going on in the market. So that's what I want us to cover into this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, uh, if you have been watching the internet, um, you would see that uh, rumors is out there that Lucid Model is actually working um, or they're talking about the fact that Lucy is working with Apple to build uh, a new class of super cool electric vehicle. So if you can scroll down here, you see that it's out there on the internet. Everybody is talking about it. So uh, what does that mean? Um, again, two things here that I want you to see why this could be, uh, this information could be circulating out there. The number one thing is that um, most recently when Lucid CEO uh, had an interview and he was asked if Apple has approached them uh, for any sort of a partnership, the CEO declined to comment, which in business almost usually means yes. So that is one thing that I think the speculation is out there. The second one is that one of Apple's key uh, designer or chief designer currently sits on the board of Lucid. And so all this put together, you can see why the internet is kind of like freaking out and thinking that these two companies are actually talking uh, or working together to try to build uh, a future electric vehicle. If you guys remember, um, Apple has been like just filling out the market and testing and talking to other companies. We've seen like three or four different rumors come out that Apple is talking to other companies. So I would expect this, this uh, trend to continue until Apple finally decides to make a complete statement if they want to get into the EV space or not. But in the meantime, what that rumor did for the, the stock here is actually gave the stock some spark. So the stock actually went up about 18% uh, today based on that rumor, which is good for, for some of us that are uh, long-term investment uh, investors in the stock. So again, I, this is something that I like to see the stock starts to squeeze back up, but at the same time, I don't want the stock squeezing up for the wrong reasons because all this is doing is just setting you up for failure. It's going to come back down because once this rumor actually get out of the way, the stock is going to fall back again. But that doesn't mean that this is not a great stock to, to get into. So if we can look at the chart here, this is just the one month chart. So if we go, this is one day, this is what happened today. So the stock actually squeezed up um, all the way to, I think it tests like $24. Uh, yeah, $24 and then before pulling back and then just selling around 23 and some change. Uh, but if we go one month, this is what's been happening to the stock. The stock went uh, to a high, um, and, and let me see, let's do six months, sorry. So this is six months right here. So we've seen this stock is actually seen a high of about $58 and then pull back. So one month, the stock has just continually been on this downtrend and actually hit a low of about eighteen forty-five. But here's why, um, and I keep talking about you guys buying the stock um, as it dips, because I bought some, I bought 250 shares here at 18. I bought another 250 at 19, and I keep adding to my position. Um, in, in my analysis here, what I've seen is that $19, $20 price point right there has been, it just acted like support. So I think even if it, even if it pulls back again from the 23 and some change that we see right now, it's going to come back to this $19, $20 price point um, until it starts to squeeze with obvious reasons. Uh, there was another uh, news out there that there was a lot of people were shorting the stock. And obviously, they're shorting the stock to drive the price down so that a lot of institutions can load up on the stock. That's just my personal um, take here. Uh, because people know that this company is a solid company. Um, it has huge potential. So they want to buy it cheap. Nobody wants to pay a premium 
uh, for a stock if they can drive it down and buy it at a very uh, cheap price. So that's something that I want you guys to to be aware of in, before you can get to the stock. So again, for those of you that don't know a little bit about Lucid, uh, this is kind of like a, a luxury electric vehicle brand that's out there. Right now, they don't have any cars in actual uh, production per se, but they are in the process of producing uh, their first, the Lucid Air, their first sedan, which is going to be going out here, I think, uh, early fall. They're going to start sending those out to their customers. And then they have customers here in the United States, in Saudi Arabia. So again, if you can see here, their projected range for their vehicle is about 500 plus miles. Um, starting price is about 69900 and this is for the basic. Um, if you go to the Discovery Air, um, those are other ones. And then one of the things that I want to really call out to you guys is that even when you know you can reserve the vehicle right now, they don't accept any more reservations because they are completely full and they don't want to take more than they can actually uh, mass produce. So right now, reservations are closed, which is insane. So, I mean, to me, I see Lucid has huge potential. Uh, again, like people that had doubts with Tesla is the same thing with Lucid. The difference here is that Lucid has actually learned from Tesla mistakes. And this, this is what people are not really seeing here. Lucid has actually learned from Tesla mistakes. And they don't want to repeat that same mistake. As a matter of fact, some of the guys are, are uh, on the board and uh, as part of the, the team at Lucid came from Tesla. So they know the ins and outs and the struggles that Tesla went through to get to the point where they are today. So Lucid is actually doing that. They have a factory out in Arizona and they're going to continue to try to expand and build other factories um, around the country. They currently are building what they call their Lucid Studios, where you can go there and sit in the vehicles and see what it feels like. And they're building those across the country. I know they're doing that just for branding purposes. But again, these are some of the things that Lucid is doing, um, putting himself up front that prevent them from falling in the same traps that Tesla did. So if you don't currently have this stock, this is not one that you buy and think that is just going to go up tomorrow. You make a ton of profit. Guys, buy this stock and hold it. I don't care if it's one, two, or three shares that you can afford. If you can afford five shares, buy five shares and hold it. You don't need to have 100000 or 200 to invest in this. If you have $100, that's at $20, that's at least five shares of this stock. Buy it and put it on the side and don't even look at it. Come back after five years and come look at it and then send me uh, uh, an email and tell me that. I did good for you. So that's that's how uh, I see this stock. My goal is to at least hold over uh, 3,000 shares of Lucid. If I can afford it, I keep trying to dig my heels and find um, extra money to throw at this stock because the, the potential is there. Right now, most people are looking at this and, and when the price is falling down like this, people are complaining. They don't want to get in. This is the time to buy. The secret with investing is buying the dip. So when opportunities like this present themselves, take advantage of it. And I, I I just cannot recall how many times I've actually talked to you guys about buying the dips for long-term stocks. These are the ones that you buy and just let it ride. You're not worrying about it going up and going down. You just When you see it go down, you buy more. That is the trick here with some of these long-term stocks I'm talking about here. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Again, guys, the news here is that um, Apple and Lucid have been uh, rumored to be working together to create some sort of our, um, electric vehicle, but the news hasn't been confirmed by either Apple or Lucid. So this is just internet rumor. But again, my personal take is that uh, this could be stemming from one or two things. Uh, number one is that the CEO of Lucid um, in an interview was asked if Apple had approached them, he declined to comment, which in business terms usually means yes. And then the other one is that you have a former Apple designer working on the board of Lucid. So that could be somebody that can bridge the gap between the two companies working together. So that's how I'm looking at this and approaching this. But again, the stock actually popped 
based on that information. So I don't want you to take this pop here very serious because um, if this is just a rumor, it's not going to go anywhere. So the stock is going to definitely come back down to this consolidation point here, which I call this. This is even a support to me. Support would be around uh, $19, $20. So uh, the stock will probably come back there, which again gives us opportunities to buy more of the stock. So that's what I wanted to let you guys know. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, guys, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.